For the second year in a row, the women of Syracuse are headed to the big dance. It's the first back-to-back -back tourney trip for the Orange and the second for sophomore Brittany Sykes. The 2016 class, we made a promise to each other that uh, all the years that we're here, we'll try our best to help our team go to the NCAA each time because our freshman year we walked in and we see uh, all, you know, NIT banners except for I think 2008 when that class went and we went last year and made history and now to go back to back and make more history and hopefully we just want to continue to make history. Traveled now Sykes is ahead of the field. Lindsay gets back. It's the program's sixth trip to the NCAA tournament. Though Syracuse is still looking for that first elusive March Madness win. Something that's forefront on the minds of each and every player on this roster. It's really motivating. You know we need a win and we know it will be history. Uh, most you know most people haven't did it so you just you just want to go on and win. Considering Syracuse has never won in the NCAA tournament, is that on your mind at all? Of course. <laughs> I mean, um, you make the tournament. That's one step. And then now when you go to the tournament, you want to win. Everybody wants to win. It's 64 teams. You know, you want to be one of them that makes history for your school. 63-53. Obviously, you want to win every game that you're going to. But obviously, when it's there, it's over your head. And, and you know, people talk about it a lot. And we just going go into it with knowing that we are preparing for an opponent as a game that we have to win. With the sixth seed, the Orange will now have five days to prepare for 29-3 Chattanooga as they get set to do something no other SU team has done before them, win in the tournament. For now, reporting from the Mellow Center, I'm Kelly Cowan.